Jeremy. Uh, what a tough act to follow. Uh, I don't know if I can follow that act or not. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Annie and the uh, Learning Center uh, group for asking me to be here tonight. Um, I want to congratulate all the high state graduates. And I want to thank the friends and family that are here for these graduates for supporting them through their journey because without your support, some of them may have never made it through. Uh, and this is a big night. And the reason I can say that is because 40 years ago, I was there. I was a high school dropout. Uh, it was tough for me to go back, but I did at 20, I think I was 25 or 26 years old, I went back and got my, at that time, what they called a GED. Um, and I will tell you, I think the high set's a lot tougher than the GED was. <laughs> um, so when I got done with the, with the GED, I knew I wanted to do something. I wanted to go to college, but I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do. I was hoping that it would be something in the agriculture field. Uh, that didn't work. I got back to Miles City uh, from going to a, a management training school and went right into a family business. Even though I had the money and the time to go to school, I went into the family business. Uh, Needless to say, within a couple of years, the family business had failed. The money was gone, <laughs> so I couldn't go to college. So, um, anyways, about that same time, I also became a single parent. I had two boys. They were age two and five when I got custody. Well, at that time, I didn't understand that there was help out there to go to college. So I said, okay, I can't go to college because I have kids to raise. Okay. So college was put on stop again. Uh, don't let those types of things, when you're ready to go to college, don't let that stop you. Because I'm gonna tell you, everybody here at MCC is here to help you figure out a way to go to college and get your degree. And thank God for MCC, because if it hadn't been for MCC, I would not have gotten my four year degree, okay? Uh, so anyways, uh, as time went by, I found out my kid, I, you know, my kids were growing up and uh, I was growing older. I was working in agriculture at the time. My back was getting sore, my knees were getting sore, and I was getting older and I thought, I've got to do something. So I stopped here at MCC, I went to the, to the front desk, picked up my paperwork, uh, filled out all, all of my FAFSA at the time. Uh, Went back to my job, told my boss what I had done. I said, I'm going to college, but I may be back. Because I was pretty sure I was probably gonna be the oldest and the dumbest guy there. I wasn't the oldest. Uh, but I guess I wasn't the dumbest because I did get through college finally. Uh, anyways, um, four years later, um, and a few gray, few gray hairs later, um, I was a college graduate. Uh, I had my degree in social and behavioral sciences. I substitute taught for a while here at the local schools, but there was no openings. I couldn't, I couldn't get there. Anyways, I found out there was a job open here at the college teaching adults to read in the 8% literacy program. Thanks to Shelly Fries, I was hired here at the college part-time. Um, thank you, Shelly. It was great. Um, Eight months later, there was a job opening in Career Placement Center. I applied for that. I got that job. Over the years, I got a lot of different titles. Uh, but it's 24 years later, and here I am standing here. Uh, it just touches me to be able to stand here tonight and address the high set graduates because I know what you went through. And so, um, because of this, um, because of my job here at MCC, and because of my, my GED, I've had the opportunity, I've visited with uh, US Senators in Washington, D.C. I've had the opportunity to visit with Arab oil ministers because of my GED and my subsequent job here at MCC. Um, and that's all 40 years ago. Okay, uh, for, the, for you graduates, the future is bright. Brooke, I'm glad to hear you're going to college. I hope that all of the rest of you are, you bet. Uh, I hope the rest of you are getting ready to do that. Uh, like I say, everybody here at the college is willing to help. If you ever need any advice,
come talk to me in my office. It's right around the corner here. If I don't know the answer, I'll be more than happy to direct you to the person who will have the answer here. Uh, now, again, you can said you can do anything you can you set your mind to because you've already proven that just by being here tonight. Because you have to have a real mindset to sit down and do your high set. So, now besides myself, let me tell you a few others that have taken the GED or high set to become successful after following their dreams. Jim Carrey, Christian Slater, Dave Thomas, the founder of Wendy's, Eminem, Michael J. Fox, Nicholas Cage, John Huntsman Jr. He was a 2012 presidential candidate, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Okay? That's just a few of the successful people I was able to find with the same qualifications when they started as you now have. Okay? Uh, thank you for being here tonight, uh, allowing me to share my story. Again, congratulations and much success to you in your journey through life. Thank you. Before we announce the HiSET graduates, I'd like to recognize the CNA and CDL programs that MCC has to offer.